Hi friends, because there are non Malayali students studying in Brilliant, I wish to continue this in uh, English so that both the Malayalis as well as the non Malayalis benefit out of it. My name is Aditya Jino and uh, I had studied my 11th and 12th in K school Mananam and um, thanks to the blessings of Almighty, the support of my parents and the knowledge shared by the teachers, I was able to get a seat in Kotte Medical College this year. I am addressing this to the repeaters batch students, the special batch students, the long term batch students who are going to write the NEET exam in the coming year or uh, in the coming uh, years to come. So uh, here I would like to share some uh, advices and hope it will be beneficial to you. I had seen a couple of videos earlier posted by the uh, previous year students and uh, a lot of them seems to be emphasizing a lot of core foundational points. So before we start, I would just like to mention them briefly. First, they say that the brilliant uh, guidance that uh, brilliant gives is very important. Their previous year's uh, question papers and the brilliant question papers are very, very beneficial. And of course, <clears throat> I completely support this. Uh, you should always listen to the advices given by the brilliant faculty and utilize this, their uh, question papers and also solve previous year question papers. A lot of the students also mention about how to study each subject separately, how to uh, approach the three hour exam and all of them are wonderful, wonderful insights. It is always beneficial and um, studying those subjects in the respective manners is always um, good for the long run. Another point that people mention is that uh, you should uh, read your NCRT very thoroughly and of course that is also because NEET syllabus uh, is based, I mean NEET is based on uh, the NCRT, that is the syllabus. So um, it is no surprise that you have to go through your NCRT as your main uh, foundational book and uh, the guides that you see around is only reference guides and the NCRT is your core book. And finally, the last point they say is that you should never be stressed out. You should always have a very calm and uh, uh, a good mindset when you, uh, whenever you are sitting to study. And uh, that is also absolutely true. So these are the points that are mentioned by the previous students and the previous videos that are posted in this channel. And I support to them completely. So I thought uh, instead of emphasizing on these points again, let me share some new um, points which I believe is equally important and revolves around um, your need preparation. So the first thing that I would like to mention um, is that people tend to have a hesitation towards seeking out. Students especially after their 10th when they come to 11th or when they join their new repeaters uh, course have a hesitation towards seeking out for help, be it the academic help you need, be it, be it some sort of uh, you know, uh, mental support or emotional uh, personal reasons that you have to seek your class teacher. People have a sort of hesitation in the sense that they think that they are the only one and just because their friend doesn't have the same issue, they are not, uh, they, are, they, they don't deserve to actually go out and seek help. This is a big, big uh, mistake that students do. Brilliant offers you all sorts of resource and that's not just the um, literature, I mean not just the uh, academic textbooks and not just the faculty members who teach the concepts but also teachers who have experience in this field for decades. The, this co uh, coaching industry has been uh, run for uh, quite a long time and they have so much experience on exactly how to deal with all sorts of stress and anxiety faced by the students and you must go ahead and ask your teachers. Don't be afraid to ask for uh, any kind of subject related doubts. Uh, even if uh, none uh, in your class has the same doubt, you should make sure that you seek out and you should ask for it. If I can share my, uh, share my experience, then um, our brilliant faculty member is uh, are, are so dedicated that in our class, uh, it, it so happened that a few students were having an issue with a chapter. Most of the students, the majority of our students was okay and fine with that chapter but a few students had difficulty in that chapter and it is because they raised their voice and they actually seeked out for help that a special substitution teacher was given to them to solve their doubts and in fact teach their, the difficult co uh, concepts again. So that is the kind of uh, support that Brilliant gives and if you do not utilize it, it is a big big loss. 
so make sure you ask out anything and everything that that uh, uh, that runs in your mind and make sure you don't uh, seek the answers from your peer group because your peer groups are as new and as uh, new to the spirit as you are and many of them might not give you the right answer seek out your teachers and ask for help all the time next i would like to go ahead and say um, you know uh, use your study techniques and make it diverse learn to play with these study techniques and find out what works best for you most of the people simply tend to reread the notes again and again and again the next time the they read the first day they read the second day the same thing over and over again that's a very passive process and while it might benefit you there is a far more effective way to learn these things and that is by using your various study techniques some of them uh, includes you know flow charts diagrams flash cards and mnemonics flow charts we all know it's something that uh, helps you to uh, plot a conceptual idea in a far more better manner than simply writing it down word by word and diagrams are also of course useful for botany and zoology and in fact it is also useful for uh, certain um, uh, physics concepts as well if you want to really understand certain ideas especially in mechanics diagrams and example questions help you in that and um, use flash cards as well flash cards promotes uh, recalling rather than recognizing your information so there is countless videos that explain about exactly how the flash cards has to be designed and stuff and of course use it wisely and also a, pro, uh, a tip that i would like to give is there are these papers that you get which is called as the newspaper print papers which are extremely cheap i mean uh, which can be uh, i mean they sell it in i think in kgs they sell it like 1 kg 2 kg and such bulk amount of papers that we can use to write and write and practice as much as possible so um, and these are easily available in any most of the bookstores so uh, use uh, these kind of papers to uh, do your big uh, small scribblings and always always keep writing and and such kind of things that promote active uh recalling an active uh, way of learning is far more effective and uh, helps you in the long run than simply rereading the notes and uh, keeping on uh, you know just just reading it all again and again and hoping that things will become uh, easier so use them and finally i would like to also mention that um, many people have a lot of uh, doubts uh, regarding their daily routine you know um uh, the, the the hours of sleep that is required for this uh, a lot of people have this habit of looking at the toppers and looking at how many hours they sleep and they say that yeah that's the way that's how many hours you also need to sleep so that is a big myth and uh, definitely that's not true um the hours of sleep that required is person to person and you have to find out what works best for you not just the hours but your entire lifestyle must be suiting you rather than uh, mimicking someone else that will be much more uh, better and so um so as i said you should design your lifestyle but then here are some things that i would like to um, uh, add on to that make sure that your uh, lifestyle does not promote too much of anything okay you should not go for too much of uh, uh, entertainment you should not go for too much of um, uh, you know unwanted kind of um, uh, wastage of time not too many uh, distractions and also make sure you don't burn yourself out with too much of studying okay if you study for uh, too long periods and and expect that to be a consistent lifestyle that you can maintain for a year or a half a year or two years then uh, it slowly starts to get a toll over you and one fine day you might actually face a burnout so make sure that you keep a balanced kind of approach that focuses on learning and focuses on your preparation for your exams so that sort of a balanced approach approach is always good make sure that you take uh, good and quality breaks okay so there is a technique called as the pomodoro technique where you study for a period of time and you take a, a small period of 5 minutes or 10 minutes of break and you again repeat the same time and so that sort of a pattern is always good for your long term study sessions if you want to study for let's say 6 hours rather than simply sitting for those 6 hours you know what will happen is, is that 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 6th hour you won't be really learning you'll just be reading and reading you just want this thing thing to be over rather in those 6 hours if you were to break it out into you know uh, 
one hour and then a five minute break one hour and a five minute break if you were to do that you know it would be so much better it would be so much better and um, your learning would be much much more effective so make sure you use your breaks and use quality breaks and you know how to use them uh, speaking about me our hostel had a very um, well designed kind of a way of approaching this so um, the one thing that impressed me the most was the consistency of times so uh, motivation is not a reliable resource or a reliable uh, fuel for your everyday work ethic okay because motivation rises one day and falls the next day you can't always uh, rely on, on it to make your day go, go smoothly rather the uh, rather the powerful uh, weapon that most people uh, use is discipline so discipline is a far more better weapon because uh, that is something that forges a habit and the more the habit get forged it, it gets more and more easier to follow it on a regular basis so in our hostels we had a clear time of exactly when you have to wake up it was early in the morning 5 30 5 45 and no one could go uh, higher than that or um, you know seldom very people went um, uh, woke up early most of them woke up on that particular time and that helped you to maintain the discipline of waking up at that particular time doing xyz activities at those particular times and having a particular time to start your study session so that kind of a regime that is fully planned and re uh, done in the same manner is hel helpful in making a habit and that is much more better than simply relying on motivation for your studies so of course that that brings me to the point of lifestyle and so make sure that it is planned well and make sure it is relaxed so that being said, uh, these are the three points. You so use your resources wisely, seek out for help, and use your study techniques wisely. And finally, have a healthy lifestyle that boosts learning and focuses on learning. I would like to end this by um, simply uh, telling that there is a thought that is happening in a lot of people's minds nowadays, especially in the newcomers, the, those people who have just joined in 11th. After the uh, first couple of months, they have a thought that 11th and 12th, they will write their board exams and after their 12th, they will go for a one year repeaters coach and then they will uh, study for the competitive exams. What is unfortunate and sad is the fact that this is the thought that happens in the mind of 11th grader after three or four months after joining Brilliant. <clears throat> they reach to such assumptions at a very, very, very early stage. So not only is it wrong, but it is absolutely illogical to do so because uh, such kind of an assumption puts you in a mindset that you are not preparing for competitive exams these two years. And that easily rails you off. That just puts you out of the rail and you just um, don't focus on your competitive exams. That is not a right thing to do. Rather, what I would like to do is that, see, the syllabus for 12th, I mean, 12th board exams or 11th board exams and your NEET is all the same. So when you study it, study it in the most appropriate manner and let's see what happens. After your 12th, let us give the entrance exams and let's see what happens. If it goes through and, and hopefully it will, if you uh, definitely put in the work, all well and good. If by some uh, uh, reason it does not go through well, let us think about it after the exam. Let us think about whether we should repeat or whether we should, you know, all those things after we give the exam. Why do we have to stress on that right now? Back in, I mean, uh, for, as far as I think, 11th grader shouldn't even think about the fact that uh, a competitive exam is coming. and well. He should just focus on throwing his concepts. He should just focus on uh, the, the knowledge, the, the present thing that is being taught and making sure those things are going in a, a smooth manner. And let us think about uh, things like that after the exam is prepared it is such a wrong thing to do that you start thinking about exactly uh, you know repeaters and and some people even go ahead and think where they will join should, it, should they really join such kind of thoughts start coming in the mind of a young child it's 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 not possible to focus on your studies so forget about all those uh, whether you have to do that or this and focus on simply learning your concept and give it your best shot and let's see what happens with that being said um, uh, I wish uh, all the students who are studying and um, uh, preparing for their exams all the very best and thanks to uh, brilliant faculty members and my school K E Mananam uh, 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 for all the support and um, definitely for the years to come brilliant will have great results. Thank you.